University's recently adopted free speech policy played an important role in the recent resignation of an accompanist. Jamie Newman stepped down after explicit rape threats he posted online were made public. When News 18's Bernie Tyner asked Purdue President Mitch Daniels if he felt the situation was handled properly, he pointed back to the policy. Do you think that that case was handled properly by the university? I do. That's Purdue University President Mitch Daniels' response to the Jamie Newman incident. Newman had been employed part-time by the university as a dance accompanist and composer. Allegations surfaced last week that Newman made rape threats in a social media post. This was as serious a an expression uh, as happened during my time here. Purdue investigated and did not take any action initially because they determined there was no real threat. The next day, Purdue legal counsel said he could still face employment-related actions and demanded an apology, saying if he had made such a vulgar statement while working for a private school, he would have been fired. Newman resigned on Monday, but Daniels says Newman's words were permitted under the university's free speech policy passed by the Board of Trustees last year. The policy says, basically, that the university may condemn or denounce speech, but will not censor or punish mere speech. Daniel says Newman was able to explain himself to investigators. He says things may have been different before the board passed the new policy. There was a, a clause that said the statement will be presumed to indicate an intent to act. Daniel says the university will use this as a learning opportunity as the university continues to protect free speech. Reporting on campus, Brittany Tyner, News 18.